are coming forward to the tape. They're off. A race away. Just about two circuits they have here for the Brown Advisory Novices Chase. And they move on to the steeplechase course as they come to the fence number one of 19. And the pink of Stay Away Fay will lead the sextet to fence number one. Uh, they clear it with about uh, five, six lengths first to last. Sandor Clegan, red and white colours, is a half length behind the leader, running in second. Make that now almost one length. And neck then to Montes Star, the maroon and yellow, as they approach fence number two. American Mike will be two lengths behind those, and a similar two length gap then to Fact to File, who'll take this in fifth place. And Giovinco, in the mainly blue colours, is the back marker. So way onto the far side they go as they settle down seven eight lengths now between them, running on to number three, and the pink colours of Stay Away Fay with Montes Star, the maroon and yellow, moving through into second place, and on touching down, there's very little between them. The water jump, which this circuit is number four, will be the next fence. American Mike, a white and green jacket, a red cap, is further back behind the leading trio and showing in fourth place as they take the water. A green and yellow, a favourite factor file was next, and the blue Giovinco at the rear of the field, the first of the open ditches. They will be 5, 7, 14 and 16 on the way round. They all take that in good style, another plain fence coming up. Stay away, Faye, Harry Compton in pink colours, Rachel Blackmore in maroon on Montes Star are the leading pair. Sean O'Keefe on Sandor Clegan, the horse got a little close to the obstacle there, was slower than the two in front of him, and is now sharing third position with American Mike DeMount of Jack Kennedy as they run towards the open ditch at the top of the hill. Factor File and Mark Walsh running in fifth position, and Giovinco, Stephen Mulqueen in blue, is just at the rear. A massive, probably too big a leap there for Stairway Fay. He took off many yards from the fence, had to really reach to get over it, and it means he's now uh, either with two horses either side of him, Sandor Clegan in the red and white, and the maroon of Montes Star around the outer of him. He takes the advantage, though, once again, stay away, Fay, as they're about to begin the downhill run now on towards fence number eight. American Mike continues to move along in fourth place. Uh, there would be four or five lengths behind him now to fact to file, and Giovinco in the blue continues to be at the rear of the field. Another plain fence, number eight. Stay away, Faye. Better over that. Lands in front. Uh, with to the left there, Montes Star. The white sleeves on the right, Sandor Clegan. American Mike is behind those as they run on towards the home turn for the first time. So they're nearing the completion of a circuit in this Brown Advisory Novices Chase. Factor File continues to run in fifth place. Giovinco in sixth, though no change in their order. And this time down the straight, two fences to take, both plain ones. And these are going to be numbers 9 and 10. Stay away, Faye, in the centre in the pink. And American Mike, who pitched on landing there on the left, the white and green jacket, red cap, now shares position, fourth position as they jump over this next plane fence. So a circuit remains. Sandor Clegan against the running rail, just headed by Stay Away Fay. One mistake from him, took off a long way from the open ditch at the top of the hill, but he still has the lead. Montes Star runs around the outside of those three wide as they run to this plain fence, taking them away to the far side, number 11. Behind those, as they jump in, the white cap, green and yellow hoop jacket of Fat to File, who moved ahead of American Mike when he made a jumping error at fence number nine. Giovinco in the blue colours continues, the outsider to be two lengths behind the others. It's away to the far side, less than a circuit to go. Sandor Clegan has come through to try and head, stay away Fay as they take this next plane fence. In fact, landed a length ahead of him there. Behind those, Montes Star in maroon colours in third. They're heading to the water jump, second and final time. Fact to file, American Mike together. Giovinco two lengths behind those. Final water jump. Sandor Clegan landed over that, about a half length ahead. Stay away, Fay, a little bit hidden. Pink colours around the outside of him. Maroon jacket, Montes Star is next. This is the third one of the open ditches coming up. American Mike and Factor File, the next couple of runners. American Mike again, another error. Tries to get rid of Jack Kennedy, but he sat there tight and is in fifth position in company with the blue colours of Giovinco. Plain fence, five from the finish, this is. Sandor Clegan and Stay Away Fay together.
Multi star right in behind him. American Mike with the red cap, white and green jacket. A white cap of Factor File is next to him. Giovinco in blue is next. Final open ditch. Four fences from home, right at the top of the hill. Sandor Kligam, stay away, Fabe. Touchdown with very little between them. But Monty Star going right up on the outside of him. Two lengths away, fact of file. Giovinco, the blue, is still there with American Mike at the rear of the field. So the sextet is still covered by only six or seven lengths. They've got three fences to jump. They're beginning the run to home. Headed by Sandor Kligam by a length. Stay away, Faye, and the pink colours in second, ridden along to try and keep tabs on him. On the left is Montes Star, right in the centre. Fact of file, see the white star on his head. American Mike with a red cap is there. Giovinco, the outsider in the blue, still in touch with these. Any one of the six in the round advisory can win as they jump now the third last. Sandor Kligam leading to, on the left, Montes Star, battling on well, stay away, Faye, coming into it stylishly, fact or foul. Giovinco in the blue, still there at 40 to 1. An American Mike behind those. They're turning then towards the home straight up now. Rachel Blackmore on Montes Star in the maroon and yellow has gone through to try and take it up round the outside of Sandor Kligam. But here, Mark Walsh on fact to foul between them. Giovinco in the blue behind these two to jump now. At the second last, Montes Star, fact to file. Sandor Kligam, Giovinco still running on. Final fence, fact to file. Lands in front, lands by two lengths. Martin Starr in second, Giovinco in the blue, still running on. Sandor Kligan behind those, it's hands and heels for Factor File and Mark Walsh as he comes to the line to win the brown advisory. Second again to Martin Starr, Giovinco, massive one in third place. Sandor Kligan is next, the last one to finish, American Mike. Well, William Ellis is now one off that amazing century of winners at the Cheltenham Festival, but most importantly, he's just had a brilliant winner at the Brown Advisory in Factor File. Two brilliant performances now to really light up the crowd. Yeah. Ballyburn and now Factor File. What did you make of it? Well, a Gold Cup performance, you know, he potentially. Uh, he's a horse I loved from the first day he came into the yard. Um, JP wanted to go jumping. I said, no, I, want to, I thought he was good enough to win the bumper last year. Mm -hmm. It took a dream to share to beat him, owned by <laughs> JP, of course. But, uh, you know, that I've always seen that potential in him. And he's, he just looks, if you wanted to paint a steeplechaser, he's what you'd paint. And it's the Florida Pearl preparation, isn't it? Yeah, and he, but he's, he's got the temperament. Uh, you know, he's like a, a, a child's pony in the stable. You go in every evening, he wants a carrot. And, you know, <laughs> that's all, I mean, he's just like that. And, um, uh, you know, he's got the temperament for it. Now, I was a little surprised how keen he was mm. there, but then I think possibly, um, I, I didn't look at the times, but maybe maybe it didn't go fast enough, and, and Mark was riding him very uh, conservatively, because, I mean, you could see the way he was jumping out of Mark's hands at every fence. Mm. He wanted to get on with the job, you know? Mm. And, uh, but he'd settle, I think he'd learn, he'd settle. Jay Mango was pointing out the lack of equipment relatively on his head. He's not a horse that you associate. Clearly, no, you weren't expected no, to be keen. We, uh, yeah, we debated. Um, we don't usually put any, even a, a nose band on him. Mm. And just today, three miles and what is it, three miles and one or just three miles and a hundred yards or something, yeah. Uh, I just said we'd go with an ordinary nose band. But uh, I think he's good enough to be a real old fashioned horse just for racing snapper, nothing else. Mm. And I like doing that, but we don't, you know. We don't do it uh, a lot, but um, but it's great to have one that I'll be looking forward to just racing him in a snaffle, I think. So you'll be working backwards from the Gold Cup, presumably, next season? Yes, yeah. 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 And you know the plan. I mean, we always we will probably start off with a John Durkin. Then nowadays we'll go to Christmas, then we'll go to Dublin Racing Festival, and then we'll come here. Well, that's, that's the bones of the plan. Yes. Um, but everything has to stay right, you know? Uh, as I was saying earlier on, you know, uh, I mean, a look at seven barrels this year, things just not right, you know, so it's it's tough. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. But JP might have other ideas, so I'll have to uh, have to have a chat with him about that. You know, he might want to come to England or something like that. Well, you do have the, uh, at the moment, reigning Gold Cup winner as well to, to be thinking about in Galopin yeah, de Champs. Yeah, uh, yeah. Does he, do they remind, do you, does no, he, not no, at all? Go and tell me how they're different. Yeah, Because I was just thinking about the speed that Factor shows, which Galopin de Champs showed as well yeah. at the novice stage of his career. They do. Well, I, well I'm just looking at uh, their, uh, in, in, in the stable, you know what I mean? It was, in fact, Galloping is fairly relaxed, all right, but I, I never, 
put them as sort of comrades or anything like that on the gallop. You know, uh, even though both are very tall horses, but Galvin and Champ doesn't look tall. When you when you look at him, you think he's only 16 hands or 16 one, and then you stand in, and he's actually over 17 hands. And that guy is probably over 17 hands, but he looks it, and he's a bigger frame of a horse. Uh, so he's, he's, uh, he's more like what I call a French steeplechaser, uh, whereas Gallop and Champ isn't. He's, um, he's, uh, he's not uh, as butch, maybe, as factifier to look at. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, and yeah, other people will probably tell you different. But we all see different things with our own eyes, don't we? Yeah. I, I look forward to seeing what you're going to be doing with factifier and I'm going to wish you best, best of luck for the rest of the day in bringing that 100 up. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.